It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. We had everything before us. We had nothing before us. We were all going direct to heaven. We were all going direct the other way. There it is, copy editor. How's everyone doing? Welcome. Uh, I'm Drew. I'm the host of our copy editor uh, developer Q&A playthrough. Just, hey, we're out of early access. And this is Christopher Jarvis. He created copy editor. He developed copy editor. Uh, he is uh, the head of Sagmar's Media, reclusive genius. <laughs> uh, it's so I'm I'm really happy to have you here and and do yeah, this, this is fun. Yeah. This, is the, this is the first time for me, so <laughs> it's super easy. Everyone's very nice. There's no one here yet, okay. but everyone's very nice. So that's all right. <laughs> um, I think we're good. I think we're on. Uh, so yeah, cool. congrats. Uh, this is out of early access now. Yeah, this is our first game that was in early access, and now we've we've graduated. It's finally transitioned, so that's pretty cool. I really have enjoyed doing this because I've been uh, helping out. I've been working on this, uh, yeah. Especially when we started in early access, uh, yeah. and it's a really nice process. It was really great to have people. How did you feel about that? Did you? I, I, I loved it. I mean, the, the, the thing that I thought was great about it is that you, this is the reg, regular expressions and, and what this game is supposed to teach and educate is just so antithetical to anything that would be practical in your life. And yet I feel like you had a lot of fun with it. And me, me specifically? You really or? enjoyed it. Yeah, you yeah. specifically. <laughs> so, yeah, like, it was kind of weird, like, having you on this game because it's, like, you have no programming. None. Like zero. <laughs> yeah, zero. And you have no real fundamental interest in 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 None. text processing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like you 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 let you had fun with it, right? Like you yeah. you latched onto it and you well, you enjoyed it's a working puzzle it. Puzzle game at its part. core, like that. Yeah, no, that, that's that's a good point. No, it, it it really is. Like I I feel like a lot of people come here, you know, wanting to learn like regular expressions and like learning a practical thing and not expecting it to be like just like a legit puzzle game that's fun for it yeah. for its own sake like uh which is fair which is like i think that was especially when we started this in early access uh having that feedback where people were like no this is we can actually use this for teaching uh as opposed to just yeah. us uh you know having fun dumb puzzles um so being able to integrate that stuff too has been really rewarding because it's been cool to have teachers like tweeting at us and you yeah. know people doing all that stuff but it, at, like like you said at the end of the day it's it's a it's a puzzle game at its heart um yeah but yeah i, I like i've i've grown to really love it we've come a long way too do you remember do you remember what the game looked like and felt like in early access like its first release i remember the demo was like six levels and yeah. uh there was no like color. It was just very yep. basic. No color. It was just gray, pretty much. <laughs> um, but that Super was basic. Yeah, that was like February of this year uh, mm -hmm. for the Steam Festival. Uh, yeah, people were still pretty excited by it, which was which was good because it was really stripped down. Um, yeah, so stripped down. I, it, it, it's releasing something in early access like that. It's it's such a vulnerable feeling because. You just it's it's not your vision, you know. It's it's very early on in the process, and you know, coming from a film background, it it, it would just be like it would be like releasing a film with like none of the with all the green screen in it, yeah. like none of the compositing done, and like half the film missing, and you know, <laughs> no color gray. It, it's just it's 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 crazy. But no, people were super supportive and and great and were instrumental in kind of informing kind of the direction that we took. I think a great example of that is uh, catastrophic back backtracking, which I would never have That's right. ever touched um, or realized. But you know, so many members of the community were were immediately on top of that and were like, "Look, like there are any number of ways you can just break this game by putting in 
you know, regular expressions that are recursive, and now we had to completely redo the engine to to make it so that we 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 wrapped it in a service worker. We wrapped so so we could terminate uh, any cases of of catastrophic backtracking. So. It's crazy, too, because I remember when you first showed me this uh, and you showed me the code and how simple it was. And, like, the idea was, in a way, like, this would... Because because we've had other games that, you know, like all games, there's bugs all the time and you go through and fix it and that's part of the, the process. Um, but uh, especially this one, it was like, no, this is going to stay as simple as possible so that we can keep it... Uh, yeah, we, we can keep those bugs to a minimum, which we were very excited about. And then, of course, the catastrophic backtracking stuff comes through yeah there's, you know there's no way to get around it but no there isn't there really really isn't <laughs> also uh we got a hello from an average italian uh which is a regular on our stream it's great to have you back good to see oh, you great. hi <laughs> uh so yeah uh that is awesome uh are you you're excited about the full release how do, how are you feeling? oh i'm so excited about the full release yeah and and how how far we've come uh, since since release, so we have 42 levels now, which I, I it's, it's, it's so much work making new levels. So like, in many ways, Copy Editor is like the spiritual successor to the Devil's Calculator, uh, which you know if you if you like what we do, I mean you probably have heard of it. And the, creating levels for this game is so much more difficult. <laughs> And so much more onerous than than that. Uh, How come? It's, it's great. Well, you have to reconcile. You know, you have to find like a, a a text, like a real text. And we used you know Gutenberg. Uh, and I would basically just uh, download all of the Gutenberg texts, like uh, you know maybe hundred gigabytes, and I would just search via, ironically enough, regular expressions <laughs> or anything that could be thematically relevant to the the theme of that level. Um, so, you know, for example, you know, one of our new levels is called Oxford Coma, I think, to play on yeah. the Oxford Comma, where you have to fix Oxford Commas. So, you know, for that, I, I, would, I would basically just recursively search uh, for... Like the 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 most dense number of commas in all of the Gutenberg source texts, and it would spit out you know ten options, and I would go through each of those, and be like, okay, which which passage makes the most sense, and I, I, yeah, it was just it was it was a wild, it was a wild process making levels, and I, I hope to make more, but I think these forty two. I mean, we spent a lot of time, like, really heavily manicuring them and, and kind of going through and making them meticulously uh, synergized, so. Yeah. Yeah. And what was, your, what of, was your favorite one to goof on? Do you, do you have, like, a... One I'm that makes always you partial to Walt's fault, level 37. <laughs> I'm trying to remember which one that is. Uh, what's the conceit of that? Yeah, so... Um, Walt Whitman famously, I just remember in in school, I, not that I'm an expert on poetry by any means, but I just remember that Walt Whitman hated rhyming. <laughs> like, he was just the worst. Right. Like, he just, he just thought it was, like, this, um, uh, this unnecessary obstruction. Um, okay, so he, here's, here's something, here's something that you can do. No, 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 go back, go oh, back, go back. Sorry, sorry. To Walt, Walt. So, even though it, it says you can't go... Uh -huh. uh, what I did was, if you do it three times, you you can go. Oh. So it's just a little obstruction, but love it. You know, I didn't want to see skip ahead. Perfect. And we're there. Um, yep. But yes, the the rhyming for for Walt Whitman. Yeah, exactly. So in in this in this case, uh, your <laughs> your your boss the caricature of of a of a guy only concerned with you know profits and everything he's taken Walt Whitman's poetry and he's corrupted it by by adding rhyming to it mm -hmm. so in the red you can see he's added these silly little rhymes to Walt Whitman's poetry and 
uh, you have to remove the rhyming uh, from the uh, from from his additions. Um, <laughs> what, can you scroll in the chat? What, what's the chat? I changed, I changed, changed a bunch wall. of poems. Poems. But they didn't rhyme enough. Poems should rhyme. It's totally unethical. Walt Whitman hated rhyming. And did you just paste words that rhyme with uh, the end of some sentences? Hey, it's not my fault. I did this on my lunch break. It's unreadable otherwise. He does have a point. Fuck, Chad. Uh, I'm going to flag all your changes, said Marie. Whoa, you can't do that. I worked hard on this. Too bad, lad. <laughs> These just cats are vowel. so... I, like... Right, 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 right. So he, he... Yeah, and so he disables the ability to use vowels to make it even more difficult. And this this is an example... I mean, this is level, what, like 37, 38? 37. 37, yeah. So this is, this is one of... Mm -hmm. This is a... This is not an easy level. <laughs> I mean, no. the difficulty here is crazy. But but the key the key here is uh, to use um, some of your new uh, I, I think back backtracing uh, is it I, I, it's backtracing yeah to so. um, yeah scroll all the way to the all bottom. the way down number of matches. I was an expert at this two months ago. I was like... <laughs> and you've forgotten I've everything. I've forgotten everything. Yeah, back referencing. That's right. Um, yeah, back referencing. Exactly. So the key here is to break it up and, and use the back referencing to find the words that rhyme in consecutive uh, lines. It's, it's, a very, it's a very advanced uh, level, and it's very tricky. Um... <laughs> But I will so. say, like, yeah, for uh, people just starting out with this one, uh, with this game, if you're just swinging by and you're curious about it, it's not like that's that, like, like Chris says, it's very advanced, uh, but you get there naturally. Hopefully, like, the progression uh, is yeah. as clear to you as, as it is for us. But uh, and, and it's not an easy game by any means, but, I mean, I've, again, like, not not to dunk on you or anything. No, but no, no, like, no, go for it. <laughs> you were able to you were able to get through all forty two levels without any help from me, no. like zero help from me. No, no cheating. At least no cheating that I'm aware of. And um, yeah, no, like, I'm not smart enough so, to cheat. Honestly, like <laughs> you were in many ways, you were kind of the the, bar the barometer for like the layman who was going to play this game as a puzzle game. No. Um. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I went to an arts high school. I haven't had a math class since 2006. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do devil calculator streams. Uh, yeah. and, and you're perfectly, it's per, it works perfectly. Yeah, because <laughs> it it's, it's uh, what I really appreciate about your games and, and, and working on these is that, like, uh, they are challenging. They're, like, they're pushing you, but for the most part, they're based in logic, like, you're learning yeah. new concepts, you're learning th these things, but, like, uh, a story that I, like, love to tell is we were at PAX in 2019. We were part of the PAX 10 with Devil's Calculator, uh, and Devil's Calculator has a million different versions of, or, or, or different puzzles that are not just algebraic, they can be anything, uh, and there's one level that is binary, um, and you have to figure out that it's, it's transforming through binary, and there was an 11-year-old girl who didn't know binary, but figured yeah, it out. Yeah, was never introduced to the concept in an academic sense or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, but literally just figured it out from patterns. And that was like uh, such a cool moment for a million reasons. Uh, but yeah. also affirming the idea that like these po these puzzles are all based in logic. Like it's all, yeah. they, we make you work for it, but it's... <laughs> It's doable. Yeah, no, definitely. I that that I, I still remember that. That was a great moment. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, do you want to play through? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to play through some of the levels, or yeah, what, what, do you, what are you feeling? I'll move this. Or, or we can even just look at the interface and kind of go over some of the new things and how it's evolved that from early access. Great. If you want. Well, one of the um, first things I'm going to do too is I'm going to turn on the sound because that was. Definitely. Oh, yeah, we added on that. That was something that the that the that uh, community kind of requested yeah. that I would never have thought of. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go through our little like opening thing too because this is pretty fun. <laughs> um, it's. <laughs>
Also, 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 just parenthetically, you have no idea how difficult it is to make a bad PowerPoint. <laughs> Like, it I, seems like it would be really easy to just throw together a really bad PowerPoint. I like the different fonts. That's really good. Uh, and the con <laughs> yep, like, contrasting was... awful colors. It, it took me so <laughs> long. There was nothing intuitive about how I did. Like, I had to, like, <laughs> Google colors that are ugly together. I Googled, like, bad PowerPoint. I was, it was took much longer than it had any right to take. Uh, Average but. Italian says that the intro is absolutely spectacular. They love it. Uh, and Chad really sets up the mood. So thank you, Average Italian. <laughs> we worked really hard to make this bad. So. And by the way, these are not stock, these are not stock photos. I added those, those overlays to make it look even less... Um, Legitimate. Oh yeah, so. that's <laughs> that's good. I'm glad yeah. we got the clearance. And I, I want to add more of those. I want to add more uh, of the those um, slideshow PowerPoint type type deals uh, throughout the game. So um, introducing, you know, especially like when we introduce like huge concepts like back referencing and stuff like that. That's cool. So um, um, I also sound. To... I... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, please. Go for it. No, please. <laughs> Go ahead. What were you going to say? Um, well, I was noticing, so there's the copy editor, and that's build 1.0, and there's, it looks like it's a link to GitHub. Uh, did you want to yeah. explain, you know, sort of Sigmar's media ethos with GitHub and all that? Yeah, 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 for sure. So, um, you know, we, it's really important to us to make every, to make everything open source. Uh, we, you know, rely so heavily on the open source community. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it, so much of what, what's in the copy editor and what we've used for copy editor is, is, you know, from open source repos that uh, are just awesome. So a, a big part of, you know, an educational nonprofit is we want to try to uh, give back to that community however, in a however small a way. And, um, yeah, I mean, if you click the link, uh, it should it should show the the latest repo. I need to actually get get on writing the readme for that. I'm always really lazy about that. But um, uh, and yeah, what's what's also cool? I'll just mention parenthetically is this is the first project we've used. Um, we we built a uh, a special tool for um, people who who make open source uh, projects where they, they sometimes, like us, have private information that they need to redact when they when they push to Git. Like, for example, we have, like, API keys that interface with Firebase, and we have, uh, you know, uh, passwords and credentials that we sign our binaries with for Apple and all of that stuff. So we need to redact that when we go to, when we go to GitHub. And it, it's always a process that we have to do, like, manually. Um, but we've, we've written a tool where uh, it, it it redacts all of that stuff automatically when you when you push to the private branch it it pushes to the public branch really simultaneously cool. with all of that automatically redacted and we're going to be releasing that tool for uh, people who who open source to, to to try to make it easier and and facilitate uh, more efficient you know open source and and hopefully some people who are like oh, it's a pain in the butt to like you know open source this and have to redact all that stuff. Hopefully it'll make it a lot easier. So That's awesome. Uh, that's Yeah, that's such an elegant solution. So cool. Yeah. Um, well, so yes. So please check out our GitHub, uh, at, especially for all of our other games, all of our other stuff yep. is on there. And I'm going to write myself a note right now to get on that, that readme. And yeah, if you have any issues building it, shoot us an email. Let us know. I'm happy to happy to help. Um, but um, yeah, so uh, since early access, this has changed remarkably. Uh, I mean, just visually, it looks so much better. We you know, added the splashes of color and the gradients and, and everything. We have that little, uh, that little arrow um, next to the chat, which I use all the time, by the way. To get this thing. Um, like this? This guy? 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that you know, when you're used on a rule-heavy level, it's it's nice to not have to to be able to see lots of rules at the same time. Um, we got flags. We have. I mean, it's just endless. I mean, yeah. I, I almost wish we could play the old version for to go for back. contract. Yeah, um, but um, some of the the. I guess let's talk about some of the new. Um, let's let's try let's play let's play this level. Okay. And then uh, I and we can show off the new um, frequency distribution system. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, you're gonna have to talk me through that too, because that's sure. That's exciting. So um, for anyone unfamiliar, this is the first. This is the first level of copy editor. Um, it. I mean, here we, it just taps into the. The, the very common find and replace stuff that we do in, in text processing like Word. Um, and we, we already have one rule that we that it ships with uh, where we replace have with had. And next we're going to place replace R. Yep. And that, that, that button isolates it. Uh, R with were. And then the only thing left is is with was. Oh, yep, thanks. And then just just type is. Yep, and then was. And then look at this. We have a we have a problem. So this is the first. This is I guess I wanted in this level to just kind of illustrate the need for regular expressions, um, because we the, the computer thinks that you want to replace. All instances of is with was, and um, yeah, if, if if you uh, hit the hit the eyeball there on is and was, yep, then we can see that it's it's looking for the the string the the substrings. So in order to i to to make sure that it's it's Next to a white space or a space, um, you can use a slash b or slash uh, s, and then you have to add the space before the was. And there we go. So submit that answer. So you would learn too in the chat. They explain Ned is is your pal, and he's going to tell you he's he's from IT. He sort of. Uh, Tells you whatever new concept is coming in, or at least hints at it, uh, and there's hints to help you with that. And then there's also this regex tab over here that will hopefully illuminate that further. But a lot of the times it's, once you employ whatever regular expressions that we're using, uh, it's, it's a better way to, to learn the concept than reading about it. But anyways, we'll submit that answer. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, so um, here we see a breakdown of everyone who. So, so currently, since we've released the new the new game, two hundred and seventy three uh, unique scores have been uploaded. So, unique scores mean uh, it's only one per person. Gotcha. So, no matter how many and times I play the level, it'll just adjust my point. Exactly. Got it. Um, and it'll uh, and. Uh, so here we see. So obviously, some people went crazy and did like 100 and, 115. Um, <laughs> These guys. Yeah. And then, uh, so it's a, it's a frequency distribution. So if you hover over any of those points, you get to see the percentage of people who actually. Did that so you and you see that you're in that that orange circle so you fall so someone was able to solve it with what is that eight characters this guy I think that's to, that's oh, the no, rules that's, I, sorry it, I, this it's in a small yeah so oh, that's good. somebody there in eight um, rules yeah 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 um so no one has been able to solve it in less than uh. 21 characters, is that what that is? It looks yeah. like a 21. 21 characters, yeah. Yeah. 
And yeah, about 16% of all players get that optimized score uh, for characters. So you can see you can see this for all the levels. Right now, you know, we just we just released, so um, we're we're trying to compile more and more data. But you know, just for me personally, it's going to be really interesting to see you know how how people optimize these levels. Um, because I, you know, I did a cursory job just trying to optimize them for the star system, but I'm sure there are ways to optimize it way further. What information do you get from this from optimization? What what inf- what do you mean? What information? Uh, I guess like uh, uh, if I'm the player, uh, what what do I? Uh, uh, what good does optimizing do me? Um, is it maybe a better right? Uh, Not no no good at all. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it's completely impractical. But like for someone like me, like I just love it. Like I love I love optimizing things. I love making things more elegant and concise. And it's it's like to me, it's like a whole other challenge. And I I feel like in in programming and in other games, like it's it's something that uh, I I just strive for. I, I I just enjoy it. I get like a big kick out of out of optimizing things. So you know, if it's something that doesn't super interest you, I mean, it's it's completely unnecessary. I mean, in the game, I mean, you 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 get you get stars for optimizing them to a point where you know I was able to optimize them without going crazy, but. Uh, if you want to further optimize them, I think there's going to be a segment of, of our players who are excited to do that. Oh, totally. Oh, no, I, I think so, too. I was trying to uh, kick the door open and less than uh, than challenge you on, on that. But, um, but yeah, uh, I, I really like it. I Because I, that's also, yeah, I feel like I try and optimize little things in life, like doing the dishes. So this alone, too, if you can... Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. n- knowing that you can make it more elegant, knowing that you can come back to it, and and the star system reinforces that too. And there are also like whole communities around a game called Regex Reg, uh, Regex Golf. If I don't know if anyone's ever heard of that, but I mean, we get a lot of players who who love Regex Golf, and that's that's all about trying to f- arrive at a regular expression solution in as few characters as possible. And uh, obviously, you know, that's a big, that's half of optimization in this game, along with trying to optimize the number of steps that it takes to, to, to do something. So that's cool. 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 Um, So I I pulled us onto chapter or to level two. Do we want to do this or do we want to hop around, talk about some of the newer levels? I don't know. What do you think? I mean, how about we go, how about we do a newer level? How about we do, uh, the the Caesar Cipher one, Ooh. that's that's a fun one. It's yes. Benny, uh, Benny Vitti V. No, it's earlier. It's way earlier. Way earlier. I think it's six or seven. Oh, great. Oh yeah, yeah. this this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So um, I wanted to I wanted to play with uh with ciphers and, and cryptography a little bit in this game, and I still think there's a lot of potential to add levels to that effect, uh, and I want to do that again, but um, to those of you who are unfamiliar, a Caesar cipher is uh, a substitution cipher where you just uh, substitute, the, you just shift the alphabet. So in this case, uh, I came, I saw, I conquered, which is like a famous Caesar quote, um, we shift from the letter I to the letter T, which I, I can't do that math in my head. Uh, uh, so, so it's going f- through the alphabet. We're, we're shifting exactly. exactly through the alphabet, not on the keyboard. Because so, when I tried playing it before, I was shifting through the keyboard, being like, but it's only four over. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you were thinking like a QWERTY. Yeah, like a QWERTY like kind cipher. of. Cipher. That's cool. Uh, um, no, so it would be like... J K L M N O P Q R S T. So it, it would be a, it's it's a shift of eleven from I to T. I see. And Does then it... C is shifted eleven 
to in this case n because n is 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 the the encipherment there. So you know if see d e f g h i j k l m n and all of the letters are are shifted eleven uh, eleven over. And the kind of cute thing about this uh, puzzle is that your keyboard is hijacked so that when you press a, a key, it is also shifted 11 over. So, like, yeah, what did you just press? So mm -hmm. I just pressed T because I wanted to try and uh, capture the first thing. And when I hit T, it gives I. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll just... Uh, I'm going to let you uh, stew in this for a little while yeah, because it, God. it makes me happy. <laughs> uh, you're awful. Um, so it's uh, Q R S T U V W X Y Z A B C D E F G H I. So it's 15, right? Um, so, so. No, wait. <laughs> Wait, how do I pick up so T minus fifteen? Well you're you you have to do the Caesar cipher in reverse. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh so <laughs> T is uh S R And it wraps. So once it hits right. Z it just keeps going to A. But we're going backwards, right? We are going backwards, yeah. S R Q P O N M L K When you J, do the devil's calculator streams, do you also J. count on your fingers? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> J I H G. So let's try G. No. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, no. All right. You We're told just... me when the stream started to try not to swear. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't. I got... Well, look. All right, so I just did... Where where did it go? There it goes. E. E is giving us T. It's authentic. Thank you, Linux Eagle. Yeah. Uh, I'm a real player in this. Um, and then we're going to replace that with the I, which is T. So I clicked T and it gave us I. I probably need to shift that. Nope. There it is. I. All right. So that's there. Nice. Uh, we got that one. <laughs> we got that one. Um, and now you just have to do it for the rest of the the rest of the life. Great. <laughs> 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 no, it's good. And this one we're not capturing yet because it's early enough. And I think when we go back, once we learn other rules, uh, you can do capture, right? So we can do it all within one. Or backtracking? No, you nope. can't. I don't. Well, I don't. I haven't played with this recently, but I feel like when I did my optimized solution, I'm looking at it right now. I didn't use capturing. Um, because of the encipherment, it's very we it's very difficult to use kind of the traditional rules. This is kind of more of like a novelty one-off kind of cute little level where brute force, <laughs> baby. Gosh, darn it! <laughs> <laughs> ah, almost got it. Ha! Ah! Yeah, once you once you realize that, that it is in order because of the shift, it becomes a little bit easier. So you got yeah. C. You got C. We got That's C. Good. We'll figure that out. Now I should have been paying attention. I think I saw it over here. There it is. All right. I'm hoping you're going to make one of my favorite mistakes here, so I'm just going to keep letting you letting you go, and then. We can do it. We can do it. Uh, I think we have... So, so yeah, when you want to add rules, you click this little guy. Uh, this is basic stuff that uh, if you have it, you'll probably know, but just in case people uh, are new to this and want to see. Um, 
Oh, Linux Eagle is, is coming through clutch. Uh, MXLP is came. I think it's... Actually, I think that's N, N, but X. Let's try X. Nope. Uh, it's not giving me... I'm, I'm Linux Eagle, I'm trying to follow your rubric, and I am not getting the same, because when I hit M, I get B. Uh... Or sorry, I'm looking for X. X. X is M. But maybe I'm reading this wrong. Maybe uh, again, I am a simpleton. Uh, all right. Another way to think about it is that you can look at if the desired output is in the the output already, then you can just use it. Desired output is in the output already. All right, like, so you're like looking this for an X, right? In this case, there is no X that has been uh, manipulated. Right, right. But if you're looking for a, a, a C, like in earlier, you can you can actually see, uh, and you can see that uh, it's it's been enciphered the C from R. Oh, but look at oh, but look at the because you need to ah. Uh, God, that's gonna kill us, right? <laughs> huh. So that's that's the beautiful that's the other beautiful thing about this level is that right. order matters. The the order that you actually do it matters because if you later on find yeah. Ah, son of a gun. Um, cause yes, because we're gonna have to C, our way out, and then R, what's R? NXLP. Um, do we have it here? No. Yeah, because otherwise, if we did this, we would have a transformation issue because all our Cs become ours. Right. Got it. <laughs> and this is only level seven, baby. <laughs> uh, ooh, one of my favorite brutal. moments. One of my favorite moments is the first game that our nonprofit made. Uh, was it, I'll, I'll I'll tell the story while you yeah, yeah, flounder yeah. around some more. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just fumble in the dark, but yeah, you go for it. <laughs> Um, is uh, we were, I was at E3 for the very first time and um, had like Synonymy there, which is the our nonprofit's first game, and um, yeah, sorry, Linux. Again. And uh, there were all these really cool games at E3 that this year, that year it was there was like XCOM two and there was uh, what else? There was uh, oh Detroit Beyond Human and like. Uh, uh, Destiny 2, and all these like big AAA titles, and you know when I when I got to my booth that morning, like there were there was a line of people to to play like this little inconspicuous educational word game, and I was like, why are you guys like why what why are you guys here? Why aren't you guys like playing like Destiny? And they're like, oh, we're we're hardcore masochists, and we heard <laughs> <laughs> we heard this is where to come. <laughs> And that's when I think I realized that we gained a reputation of being a little bit difficult with our uh, our puzzles and our games. But it's so much more gratifying. Like that's the thing. Like it's it's you push on it just long enough, and then I it, look. Maybe it is a form of masochism, but like uh, I don't think. So. I think there's a uh, you get a certain. Uh, uh, sense of excitement. It's 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 like when you finally get a concept at school or something like that. It's when you finally, yeah. or yeah. And then I think like pushing that concept like way further than you know maybe another game would. Uh, but yeah, I I feel like have you ever played any of like uh the Zachtronics games? I feel like I feel like if if any if anything comes close. To the kind of stuff we does, the kind of stuff we do, it's 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 them. Like they do really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, but um, 
Yeah, I mean, they have that reputation, too, for being maddeningly difficult. I think it's good. Uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Got it. I knew I, I found it. So A is P. I feel like that's a super important thing. A is P. <laughs> um, but, but do you see my point? And you would know that if you had just looked... Because came was enciphered, the A from came was enciphered with a P. So oh, you, I see already what have, you already have your, your transposition key your, right there. Uh, God, yeah, of course. So if you had just looked at the output. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, so if A is P, B is Q. C is R, D is S, E is T. No, damn, God, so E is T, but how do I get E? God, so... <laughs> oh, God. It's just backwards, it's just the opposite, it's just 11 in the other direction. It's 11? You want to get E, you want to get E, right? Yeah. Count backwards 11. <laughs> Uh, this is, I feel like if I was ever pulled over by a cop and they asked me to say the <laughs> alphabet backwards, I would get a DUI even if I was stoned and sober. Like, I mean, to be fair, you'd also be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but like, you know, I need to get this down. Uh, so we're but sober or otherwise, you would be. <laughs> uh, D, C, B, A. Z, Y, X. <laughs> w. <laughs> B, U, T. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> T is I, U is J. So wait, we need E. Why? No, it doesn't. I don't understand how it's going backwards, how I'm going backwards wrong. This is... Uh, okay. I don't have the game up in front of me. I probably should. S. Wait, no, I can do this. I can do this. Q. P. P! P is E. I said this out loud at some point. No, I said A is P. P is E. Oh man, this is brutal. <laughs> like, uh, also, great. This is so good. P is E. So then, when we go to the next one, if P is E, then Q is D. No. Why is Q F? P. <laughs> o. O is D. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's fine. <sighs> So. All right. So, what letter are you looking for? We're looking for an S. Looking for an S, right? So it's should be count backwards from S. D. Well, we got it again. Uh, right. Oh, was it somewhere else in there? No, no, it's it's fine. I'm getting a if little you're bit looking better. For it... <laughs> Not much, but a little bit better. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So this is this is taking a minute, but um, but we're almost no. I can finish this. We can finish this. We're on a loop. We're on a A P B Linux Eagles cracked it, and even then, can you imagine me in the Da Vinci Code? I would, like, <laughs> it would just be a nightmare. Uh, B Q. Oh, I oh I see. I see. Okay. So we need. We need H, which I see is an S, I believe. There we go. Not K. Um, H, W. Wow, that fit perfectly. That's kind of crazy. Okay. We are almost there. Right. We are almost there. Conquered, so we need a Z. Uh, and Z is O. 
um, I'm using, I'm, I'm fully copying from Linux Eagle in the chat to get through here. Uh, cause I don't want to waste time. This is, look, this is great. Uh, no, <laughs> I can't even read it right. <laughs> Wait, is that right? Yeah. Um, da, 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 da. Great. Q. Q is. I'm having so much fun watching you <laughs> do this, by the way. I'm so glad. Our game is maybe for masochists, but we're sadists. <laughs> <laughs> no, I Because need I am really enjoying this. <laughs> B, F, E, R, E, and then O is D, right? Cool. Uh, so Q, we can do this, we can do this. Uh, e, no, what the hell? Close. Wait, T and U is E and F. How do I get Q? So that's me going E F. You want to get? Oh, yeah, you want to? You want to resolve a B, right? B. This could yeah. have occurred. Oh, but I want the B. Sorry, yes, I need a B. We got it. We got there. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, and then now you need an F. <laughs> no, I need an F. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Q U. E R E, and then I need an O. Who else in chat sees the disaster that's about to happen? No! <laughs> no! What? Ah, uh, no! No! Oh, God! Uh, I hate this so much. Uh, okay, okay. I'm gonna pull up above our other O. So yeah, again, if, if you need to move stuff, you just grab a rule and you drag it. So I'm gonna pull it above, okay. Oh, okay. I like also level one has 273 people and now this one has 53, which means by level six, like 220 people were just threw their computers against the wall. Yep, exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but we're good. Uh, all right, 26 seems to be the lowest amount of characters. Oh, there have been some people who've done this in five rules. Very impressive. Well, you have to do it in five rules in order to get all three stars. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, you want to do that now, Drew? You want me to do five <laughs> rules? You want me to figure out five no. rules? No. <laughs> Linux, we don't have four. time. <laughs> Um, no, yeah, I, uh, that'll, we'll be here till next Tuesday, but, uh, if Did Le Lenny say Single four? says they can do it in four, that's pretty impressive. What? That's, that would be, imp I would love to see that. I would love to see four. Uh, it's all possible, you know, the engine is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, tweet at us or, 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 or post something. We'll, we'll retweet it. If you can do it in four, I would be very impressed. Uh. Honestly, for as much as I, uh, uh, like, I was screaming about it, um, uh, <laughs> like, look, it's fun, and I know uh, I have every incentive to say that, but like, it's, uh, I don't know, like, it. You don't yeah, have it, that much of an incentive. That's true. That's. <laughs> <laughs> um. Ooh. Linux Eagle. That sounds really familiar. I feel like Linux Eagle. Yeah, they helped, helped us, us a lot. A lot. Yeah, Linux, Linux Eagle. You're one of our MVPs on on bringing. This yeah, up. I feel. I, I feel. Yeah, Linux Eagle. 
I feel like he gave us like a whole breakdown of 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 bugs and stuff. And I, I Linux yeah. Able, I think you were one of the first people to flag the catastrophic backtracking too. Yeah, that I think is right. Yeah, yeah. it's coming back to me now. If, if no, I definitely remember, yeah. I definitely remember Linux Eagle helped us out a ton with this game. Um, so MVP Linux Eagle, thank you so much. Yeah, there were there were a couple of MVPs who just like went went way over and above and beyond like Linux Eagle and really just helped us. Um, yeah, it would be so interesting. I wish I could see like what this game would be like. Like, it, it would be. So much of this was informed by community uh, sensibilities and, and uh, feedback and everything and suggestions. So I just, it's so cool. Like, it feels like your audience is part of the process. And that's just never, I've never had that experience before yeah. in, in art. And it, it's super scary, first of all. At first, I was, like, I found myself being, like, a little defensive. I was like, like, this is my, like, thing. Like, what are you talking about? Like, it should be different. Um, and but no, it, it's it it makes everything better. Like it really does. Like it's and it's it's worth it. Like it 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 makes the product, uh, and the project so much more fulfilling and so much better. Hundred percent. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. It's uh, it's it's really cool. And people are like nice. Like it's helpful notes, but for the most part, uh, uh people are are cognizant of hey, it's still developmental. It's still you know yeah. at, at this. Point and um, honestly, like really, really good notes. Uh, oh yeah, especially mm. like I'm a I'm in a master's program on on producing now, and they're teaching us how to give notes. And I think people on Steam instinctively give better notes than most people I work with. So, oh uh, no, I'm like I have like a history in screenwriting and like write like writing and like uh, like I can tell you right now like the the constructive criticism like. Steam community does it better than than I think anyone that I've ever come across in the writing uh, side of things. I mean, yeah, it's it's great. Um, do we want to do we want to touch on? Do you want to like look at one more level like uh, that you're excited about or, or proud of before we uh, hop off for a bit? Because we're coming up on our hour. Um, but I, I, I there's so much because like you said, it's 42 levels, and uh, yeah. I know. I mean. And how much well, not only is it 42 levels, but you really you need to go back and replay the levels in a whole new context. So the 42 is is almost a little bit deceptive, honestly. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, but let's what, what's I mean. What are ones? What, what, there's uh, so many new levels that I really like that I really love. There's there's Comic Chameleon. That's 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 a fun one. Yeah. Uh, that's well, but that's all with positive look aheads and oh my goodness! Oh God, I wish uh, I, I yeah I you should be in charge of the thing. Um, yeah, we should have thought that through a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd be uh, wasting a little bit less time. Um, it's not like look, I'm honestly <laughs> I'm having a great time with it, but like uh, you instinctively know these things quite well. Um, um, let's let's do. Let's do a like one that has a simpler, an, like a simpler structure of answer, but has a more advanced concept. Okay. Uh, so let's do like um, I'm looking here, uh, deduplicitous. Let's do deduplicitous. Uh, the number yes, found it. We gotta click it three times, baby. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, this one. So we've bought a list of animal names, but it's riddled with duplicates. Uh, <laughs> animal names always come in handy in the publishing business. Uh, <laughs> sure. Um, uh, are you chicken? I did complain. Um, what, is, what does Ned have to say? So here's something really neat. It's called back referencing. You know, dollar sign one, uh, if you've played this through, that, that's an early concept for us. Uh, well, by using backslash one in the find box, you can self-reference captured groups. Read more about it. So back-referencing, I mean, I, this is kind of a tall claim, but like, I don't think I, this game would have ever been made if not f for me stumbling on back-referencing back, uh, as, a, as a concept. Because I, I just, when I, when I 
learned about back referencing to do um, you know just my own stuff it immediately was like oh this is this has game written all over it like this this whole self refer this referential uh, you know it's, it's the closest thing to iteration that you can that you can sort of get which is super cool um, so back back referencing just to make it really uh, clear to everyone um, wh what are you doing I don't know I have no idea <laughs> Okay, <laughs> delete everything. Let's, okay. let's start from. <laughs> okay, so let's say we want to isolate all um, uh, consecutive letters. So all instances of A A B B. Like Aardvark has multiple A's. Multiple B's, multiple C's, multiple D's. How would you do that normally, Drew? Uh, you would capture that group. Uh, well, I guess multiples. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, there, you do, you do the positive. You'd have the uh, that the multiplier, right? So it'd be A A. Oh, but uh, but you you but you no, that's, yeah, but you that that's that that's that's right. That's that's cool. But we're talking about any letter duplicated. Oh, we would go non-digit. I'll give no, you a hint. Uh... There, there, is, there is no way to do that without back referencing. Gotcha. I thought that, that wasn't so, a character. Anyways, yeah. No. So, so how about you capture parentheses slash W? So you're just capturing all, all word characters. All word characters. Yeah. Okay, now. And then backslash one in the find. Okay. So here's what's happening. And and and, and go ahead and, and highlight. Pop. There you go. So what's happening is it's looking for a word character. It's capturing that word character. And then you're using that capture in the find Iteratively, Do you, does that make sense to you? I think so. So really what you're doing is you're identifying consecutive letters. So we're looking at A, A, L, L, S, S, gotcha. R, R, anything like that. And if you wanted to, like, if, if there were, like, uh, three O's, for example, or five F's, you could capture them all by hitting the, the, the plus button, the, the, the plus operator, too. But that's not something that you need. But... It's super important to understand back referencing and and how and how it works because you're you you I feel like you understand perfectly well that when you're in the replace field and you use dollar one, you're replacing it with what you've captured. Yes. But here you're replacing you're appending your rule in find with what you've captured before it. So in reality, this is A A B B C C D D E E F F G G H H all in one. Right. So knowing that, Andrew. Uh -huh. <laughs> God, yes. Okay. How would you approach um, deduplicating this list of animal names? Oh, okay. So what we can do is capture words in total but uh only ones that are followed by the same word if once we oh you know what we can do let's pluralize the word character and add a comma does that no that doesn't do it i'm trying to make it more okay just for for, for now take out the back reference okay no you were on the right that that was absolutely right but okay. take out the back reference Uh, all right, so and then plural at good, comma, and then uh, add a, uh, a a a white space character. Got it. Space. All right. 
So then if okay, we... Okay, now, now, go, now go to the um, highlight everything. So that's each individual word. Okay, I think yeah. I know what we're doing. So now we've now we've we've isolated each individual word. Cool. And now we want to match any instances of multiple words together. There so it is. now what we do is we'd add the back reference. And that's and that's cool. We we've, we've matched all instances where there are two consecutive words. But if you notice, there are some times where it's uh, you get um, more than two. Got it. So we need to pluralize the back reference itself. So d uh, literally pluralize? Yeah, star. Or, or I think the plus sign would work too, right? Let's try star. Oh, and then you need to. Sorry, you need to. You need to. Uh, you, instead of using a plus for the W, you need to use a star for the. Star. You use star. Use a star for both. When the star is zero or more, got it. As opposed to. I actually, it doesn't really. I, I actually no, no. Never mind. You put the put the plus. I don't think the plus matters. I, I think I think either the plus or the star will work in this case. Uh, so I think that that's right. See now, look at what you're doing. You're you're isolating all of those. Now the only thing you have to do now is in the replace. Uh huh. In the replace field, do dollar one, and I think that yeah, that's yeah, that's it. That's it. We did it. Yeah. So, but do you do you understand how that? Oh, somebody somebody did it with twelve. That's sick. Linux Eagle. Very cool. Probably Linux Eagle. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. We're just gonna carry right. you with this stuff. Um, I think. Yes. Hit, uh, I'm, I'm, can you hit optimize? I sure can. Uh, optimize takes you back in case you want to go through with it. Yeah. Yes, I I absolutely. Does it do. make sense? Yes, because uh, with the parentheses we've captured each individual word. The pluralizer yep. we've matched ones that are, are multiple or sorry with the uh, not pluralizer back reference that is pluralized. We've referenced. Uh, or, or, or gotten more, all the ones that have multiples of the same mm -hmm. word, and then we just replace with a single, which is... Perfect. Yes. No, you understand it perfectly. Yeah, no, that... that yeah, so that, that's a that's a late level, too. That's 34? Yeah, 34. So... But in that, in the uh, simplicity is sort of the understanding of the idea for me. Like... Oh, yeah. Once... The optimization means for me that I've understood the concept. Yeah. Once you can make it. And back referencing is a super, super important kind of sandbox tool for this. So, um, yeah, it, some of my favorite levels use use back referencing for sure. These are awesome. Another thing I want to point out before we have to go to is that we have user levels. Um, we Oh, God, we've got all sorts of new stuff here too, uh, which is very fun. But... Uh, Please, if, if you have ideas for this, uh, throw them in. You can create levels. You can, uh, and we have a whole community of user levels. Uh, yep, a, a creation system. Yeah. Um, You're the featured puzzle of the day. How'd that happen? <sighs> I'm, I'm featured puzzle, I, probably because it's just an old one. Um, I think I did Emily Dickinson's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I put it, uh, her cookie recipe in the midst of one of her poems, and you have to... <laughs> uh, well, no. That's cute. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, but especially for like educators or stuff like that, um, I can show you. Uh, you can search if if you make something for your class, uh, you can give them a unique uh, level ID, throw it in there, uh, and they can they can play that or or your username. Cool. Um, but yeah, I wanted to. And then I also want to mention uh, that we've integrated an answer key into the game. So now if you uh, get really stuck on a level um, and you've exhausted the hint system, it will automatically take you to uh, an answer guide. So right right there is the link to the general answer guide. Um, but uh, it, it'll also take you specifically to the, the particular level if you're on a level and you're stuck. Oh, cool. No shame in, in looking at the answers. This is a hard game. It's designed to challenge you. Um, so, uh, you know, that, that was something that a lot of people in the community really wanted and, uh, 
made sense to to do so yeah if anything you've probably seen from my playing uh you need help and uh, that's totally fine because it's not i mean it, it, it it's as hard as you want it to be and the challenge is as much as you want it but uh you still learn from looking through the answers and all that stuff too uh, at least i do so um sure. all right well this has been awesome uh yeah i'm so excited i'm really glad this is we're out we're live we're real um thank yeah. you for people for but just because we're live doesn't mean we won't keep uh keep updating it and uh keep uh, adding new content yeah. we want to do that for sure percent. uh right. no, uh we're really proud of this uh thank you so much for stopping by and watching the copywriter stream if you have any questions feel free to tweet message email us uh, yeah we'd love to hear from you you really would um, and thank you so much to Linux Eagle and all of the people who've supported us through early access. Huge, 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 huge help. I'm, uh, so off the top of my head, Leaving Leaves, you were amazing, helpful. Leaving Leaves, yeah, 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 yeah. There, uh, there are a bunch of others. I actually think we, we there was another there was another person who who really came through too. I, I don't have it in front of me, but we will, we we will, we have and we will continue to properly thank thank them. So uh, but, cool. Well. Thanks for thanks for walking us through this, Chris. It's really good seeing you. Yeah, likewise, man. All right. All right. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>